uh, Brandon Gertz. I fight out of Genesis in Colorado. I'm uh, 14 and six. Not much, for, not much earlier than you, man. Uh, about I had a little bit over three weeks, you know, until the fight date notice. So it's kind of, kind of put together quick. I think pretty much, uh, you know, when they figure out Patricio was out, they called me up right away and they asked me, and I, I told them yes that day, you know, pretty much, and got the deal done, you know. Me personally, I thought I won that fight, you know, I thought I won rounds one and two, you know, like I said before, it's it's mixed martial arts, you know, I mean, I get this is the fight game, you got to batter somebody, but I feel like when you dominate one, one, one part of the game, which obviously 10 takedowns to zero, I feel like it's a domination, you should, there should be some credit for that, you know, it's, it's called mixed martial arts for a reason, you know, if they're, they should tell us that takedowns mean nothing, then, you know, and then I wouldn't have done that and I wouldn't have been gassed out in the third round, you know, personally. But, you know, it, what I take away from it, that dude was strong as hell. No one's ever been able to just, I get a takedown, usually I'm on top for a while, and I'm able to impose my will, will you know, he, he he basically bench pressed me off multiple times, you know, so I'll, I'll take away that, you know, the strength's definitely different, and I knew that going into the game, I mean, it wasn't that I, you know, I didn't, I knew that, you know, I knew that it was just going to be my speed factor, I knew he was going to be strong, I didn't, I didn't expect that. You know, I think I actually, I got more, I had respect for Fernando then, but uh, I, I see why he's, you know, one of the top welterweights, and that, that motherfucker is strong, you know, and I and I see I see why he's there, you know. Like I said, I still thought I was winning the fight, and, you know, I mean, it's my fault, too. I came off the gas, not to say I wasn't a little tired, don't don't say that, but I thought I had rounds one and two pretty, pretty descendingly up, you know. So I thought it was a good fight, and, um, you know, I, I weighed in at 165 pounds. I don't, I don't walk. I walk around lean. You know, I'm always working out. I'm always, I'm not a massive 55 pounder. I, I mean, I stepped in on the scale at 165. He, he weighed in at like 174. I bet he, he was about 200 that day, and I was probably weighing freaking 64, probably less. Day, day of fight, I usually pee. I, I'm usually in that bathroom a lot. You know, <laughs> I'm drinking water and stuff's running through. So. I mean, I stepped in there against a the big dude, and I felt like I still did a good job, but, you know, to tell you the truth, he's probably the only other guy in the lightweight division I really like. I mean, I like Derek, so I don't like to say anything negative, but I haven't seen the improvements. You know, even in his last fight, even in his run, he's always been a tough guy. The dude's tough, you know, and he's got heart. He keeps coming, and that's how he's won his last few fights. You know, um, he, he just keeps coming, and he, he's a hard hitter. But I haven't seen anything really different, personally. It's the same, it's kind of the same game plan out there, you know. And I think where he has trouble is when he fights somebody like me or Michael Chandler that he knows has better wrestling. He know, you know, and, and we're pretty even on the feet. So he, I think that's when I see trouble in Derek is because he knows he can't, there's nothing, he, he can't stop the takedown, he can't get the takedown, and he, he has trouble in his head. I, I, I know it because he's a, he's a go-forward push push he doesn't he doesn't really back up too much is he's not a runner you know he's not using speed angles he, he he's a brawler and he likes to stand in the pocket and he likes to get his takedown when he can and a guy that, like me he, he's just not able to do that i'm not one to turn down fights you know but i've basically been in fight camp this whole time i've been getting justin ready for his fight he's always been there for me and i've been here the whole time for him so i've i've practically been doing everything justin's been doing and no joke, it was probably only about three days that I kind of, because I was actually trying to get on this fight card earlier. I was kind of anticipating fighting July 14th, and then they told me it wasn't going to happen, and I kind of took a mental a mental break for three days. Like, I kind of was like, well, I'm not going to fight for a while. And I was still training, though. It was only like a second, so I, it's not that I haven't been. I feel like I've been in training camp this whole time. Like you said, Justin's fighting, and he's fighting a southpaw. So I've been there, I've been there doing, I've been been there for him pretty much every day you know it's good man i like i said i stay i stay lean so it's not it's not that hard i haven't really even thought about it too much i mean um they compost tried to get this at a catch weight i mean we are actually doing a catch weight to tell you the truth it's only 58 but because i wasn't really budging too much on the catch weight because i want to fight 55 i look at it i mean if anybody should have been asking for a catch weight it was me you know but I'm a 55 pounder. I want to fight at my weight class. That's that's what I want to fight at, you know. Especially the last fight. I ain't trying to give nobody pounds right now. I want to fight at 55. That's that's my weight.
Uh, you know, I think it's going to be a little bit more of a war, you know, and I definitely see, see Campos being a little bit more hesitant. You know, it's not usually his game, but I know he doesn't want to get put away in 30 seconds again, and that's just definitely, no matter what it is, we need to forget about our last fights or whatever, but that's still in his head. There's no way that's not in his head that the last time we fought was 30 seconds, and to a fighter, you go out there and you do all the work, and the fight's over in 30 seconds, you feel like you got nothing. You just went through a whole training camp and didn't even get to can even get to show your skills you know so i know that's going through his head so i don't feel like he's going to be coming forward quite the same as he normally does not to say the war the war will start at one point i know that and, he, and he's a warrior you know and um, it, it's going to be a good fight it won't be as quick as the last one i'll guarantee that but it, it, it's gonna it'll be a fun fight and I, I guarantee i'll be on top of that you know after i had to have my second acl surgery i came back and lost to pick a and then this last fight i mean it kind of brought me a little bit, you know, down. I was on a roll there for a little bit, and I want to get right back there. You know, title shot was right right there, right in front of me, you know, and I kind of kind of messed that up a little bit, and I feel like a win over Derek because he's up there, you know. I mean, this fight, he was supposed to fight Patricio, and I think that was supposed to be a title limb there. A little bit, feel, I feel sorry for Derek because he was right there, and now I have to screw up his dreams again, you know. So um, I feel like when I beat him, I'll be right back up there, and I, I just want anybody in the top. There's nobody... There's nobody, to tell you the truth, somebody I would like to fight is a Thompson or a Ben Henderson because, you know, they're they're established fighters and they've done a lot. And I, I would like to test my skills against somebody like that. Those are those are great opponents right there. So those are the those are kind of the guys I'm looking at. Everybody else I've pretty much fought. You know, there's not anybody. Obviously, I want that rematch with Piccolotti. I don't feel like that should be the next fight just for his, his sake. I don't think he should hand me it next. I mean, if he smart you know i think it'd be a disservice for him to hand me the rematch right away you know but uh that's a fight i want back i mean that's a fight i was tentative that was coming off my second acl surgery i i didn't believe in my knee you know and that you saw in the fight I, I didn't push forward until the end you know when it was too late i mean i feel like chandler's a champion chandler's the guy i've had my eyes on since i joined bellator i feel like he's at the top of he's the top guy and i've always felt that i got respect for chandler it's it's a sucky thing to go out like that. I mean that's I I'm not gonna say either way. Or how I got her, I don't. It, it 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 was an injury. You know he got the win. It wasn't decisive like like Anderson Silva's leg. You know you clearly saw that was a check. You know and again that was still terrible because he threw a kick and just got checked and it broke. It's a horrible way to lose. You know and this could have been Michael Chandler step back, rolled his ankle, and that's how he lost. You know and I just I. You know, which kind of sucks is I even got a little bit more respect for Chandler after that fight, which pisses me off, you know, because this is a guy I'm heading for. But he, he was a tough motherfucker after that. You know, he, he was still trying to fight. I feel like the fight shouldn't have been stopped. Clearly, he was hurt. Yeah, but he didn't say stop. He didn't ask to get stopped. Let the guy keep fighting. You didn't, you didn't, he didn't try to stop. So I know, I know this, this fighter safety and all that, but, uh, the man didn't stop a beat. He didn't. He didn't try to for anything, and I gotta respect that, man. That was that was cool. That was cool. I, I didn't like seeing. It. I was like, damn, this dude is even a little tough. He, he got even a little tougher than me. You know, he's a he's a he's a good guy. But to say what happened, I, I can't tell you that. I'm not gonna say that the kick didn't do nothing. We don't know. I, I, we don't we don't exactly know. It wasn't that definitive to say that. You know you. You, you, we just really don't know. It's God knows that one. That's it. You know, lucky for Primus, he got, he, he he's got the belt. You know, they definitely should fight again, which I also think sucks because that's going to back up the division for a second again. That's why I didn't like it. You know, because I feel like they should fight again. You know, even though I don't want to see that shit. You know, I want I want the division to keep moving along, but I think they should fight again. Um, yeah, check me out at Brandon Gertz MMA. Um, on on either Twitter or Instagram and, and Facebook, um, you know I just gotta give a shout out to my, my big sponsor Charlotte's Web. I just love what they're doing, you know helping helping out kids and uh, I think you know the the world needs to be aware of CBD a little bit more of what it's doing and not just have a black eye on it on you know being being weed. It's not it's not weed. It's hemp, you know, and it's it's, it's helping people and it's it's saving it's saving kids' lives, you know. So. That's, that's something I support and feel very strongly about, you know, that's a sponsor of mine, but it's like, it, there's there's more to it. I've never had a sponsor like that that I actually, like, 
they're doing amazing things in this world, you know. So check out Charlotte's Web, you know, if you're if you're in anything. Um, they're just doing amazing things for people and, and helping people live out better lives.